Hello everyone, I do my first dip powder manicure. I use a UNT peel off base coat to do a easy pop of removal. Then this is a triple D dip base. The liquids of triple D are very good. I use the color of Revel. It's named Huddy. It's a very beautiful pink shade. It's very important to stir up your powders very good. So it's good, it's loose. Your powder. I use a toothpick to, to loosen it up. Now I do the first layer of dip base. The first layer I do three fourths of the nail, not the entire nail, because otherwise your cuticle are, is very thick. Now I brush, uh, I brush the dip base, then I pour over the dip powder. You can choose, you can pour over or you can dip in the container or you can dip in the cupcake liner. And now the important step is to clean up your cuticles. I use a wooden stick or you can uh, use a toothpick or you can use uh, such a tool for watercolor or water marbling. So now I will show you all of my nails, the first coat. So you put one layer of dip base, then you pour over your powder and then you clean up your cuticles. When you clean up your cuticles, you will notice that afterwards you must, you mustn't file, uh, file a lot. So you have a less work. This is a beautiful pink. It's a corally pink. I love pink colors. I'm pink lady. Sorry. This is the first layer on my pinky. And you always step off the excess and clean up your cuticles. When you did your first layer, you take a makeup brush and you Brush all the excess powder off. It's very important because when you use your dip base for the second layer and you don't brush it off, then all the power will be on your brush. A tip that I can, that I can give you is I always wipe the brush of the dip base and the activator on a lint free wipe or on the paper towel between each step. It's better because then nothing will be on your, on your brush. Now you will see the second layer of the base on all of my fingers. Now this is my second video. 
My first video was in Dutch because I live in Belgium and I speak Dutch. But I saw all the YouTube channels and they were in, in English. So I said, hey girl, you will never have a lot of followers. So I will do my videos now in English. I hope, I hope that I do it okay. And that you understand everything I said. I hope that you like this video. And please, please, will everybody will um, will like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So now, I, so now I'm almost ready with the second layer. So the second layer, I do it the entire nail. The first layer of the base, I do it three fourth of the nail.
So now I clear cap all of my nails in a, a clear coat. I will brush off the excess powder and then the second big step of liquids is the activator. The activator that will harden the powder otherwise the powder will be soft and that's not um, what you want. So I do a good amount of activator on my nails. I do all my nails two times. So I'll be sure that everything is activated okay. And then you must wait a minute, a minute or two. But you know when it's hard if you tap with a wooden stick or something or with your nail on the dip powder and then you know when it's hard or not. I hope that the lighting is better this time. I saw in the, my first video that it's it was too much lightning. You don't see the colors from Triple D very good. So now, now I hope that it will be better. So leave it in the comment if something could be better or something is better than the first time. So now, now I activate it. And then the first step is to file and shape. It's very important that you file your nails very good and especially in the in the cuticles. You can use a, a dip top and then after filing you must clean your nails, put a, another layer of activator wait two minutes and then you must do two layers of dip top and when you file and use a dip top you must make that your nails are very smooth and then you use a buffer i never use a dip top i always use a gel top but then you need a led lamp or a uv uv lamp to cure the, the the top coat so when you file it's not important that it be very smooth because the top coat doesn't adhere very good when it's too smooth so i file and shape with a 100 grit file and Sometimes I use a 180 grit on my cuticle line. Now you will see how I shape and file my nails. But it was not very easy to show that. Now I use the 180 grit file to smooth up the nails.
I hope that this video is um, useful for you to know how you must do your dip manicure with a regular color. So now you will see that I smooth all my nails with the 180 grit file. All my nails are now filed and buffed a little bit. So now I, uh, now I will cleanse my nails with a cleanser. I use a brush and then afterwards I take a lint-free wipe with cleanser and then I cleanse my nails very good because it's important that uh, There's no dust on your nails when you do your gel top coat. Now I will use the Top coat of Urban Graffiti. It's from uh, Now Nails. She has a YouTube channel and she makes beautiful acryl nails. Um, they have a store also. You can buy acrylic powders, um, buffers, files, gels, a lot of uh, gel colors. They have very good base and top coat. Now I do a layer of gel top coat and it's important that you cap the free edge because I did a peel base on my nails for easy pop-off removal. But if you don't cap the free edge, it will pop off too soon, I think. When I use a peel base, the Unt peel base, it's very good. I tried a lot of a lot of other peel base, but it didn't work with me. Now I can, I think, two weeks with the UNT peel base, so it's very good. But I changes my my nails every week. So it's very easy with the peel base. Now I will 
do my nails in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. It's a lamp of Jellish. It's a very good LED lamp. So, people, I hope this video was a little bit, I hope, <laughs> a little bit interesting for you. And I hope that you like this video. So please subscribe to my channel. And I hope that I can do a lot of uh, videos in the future. So now here you will see the result with the top coat. I found, I found it very beautiful. The color hoodie is amazing. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!